Hi, I'm Gary Strigler, and this desk project that I've been working on is getting pretty close to being done. One of the last things that I needed to do was to make my drawer fronts. And the way that I made those is what I want to share today because it's a way to make a great looking drawer front or door with tools that you just already own. Basically, routers, a miter saw, table saw, and a headless pinner. So this is an example of one of the drawer fronts. Of course, if you turn it up on end, it could be a door. And I believe this is a pretty darn good looking door. Now you could also put a raised panel in the middle if you wanted to. So how do I make this drawer or door? Here's a piece of the material that was basically the frame material that I mitered around that piece of plywood. And, and putting these together is really a lot like putting together a picture frame. If you look at the profile, it's got a bead cut on one side, and then on the other side, it's got basically just a round over the shoulder. Now, this is the beading bit that I used to make that cut. And you do have to be really careful when you make that cut to get it uh, really nice and accurate. I did have to do a little bit of hand sanding. My routing wasn't perfect. The inside cut's really straightforward. It's basically a quarter inch radius. Both of these are white side router bits. So you go ahead and mill up all your material. Now, the last thing that I did do is I've made this groove for my panel. I chose to do it on a table saw on a couple of passes so I could fine tune it to really fit my piece of plywood, which was a little bit under a quarter of an inch. But you could also do that with a slot cutting router bit if you wanted to. One of the keys that I've found to putting together these mitered frames is that you want to put a headless pin in the corners you start to assemble it now we'll show you the back of this i used hoffman keys to make these joints but you wouldn't have to do that the hoffman's a great tool but it's kind of pricey you could also put a, a couple of the craig micro pocket screws in there and that would pull the joint together the good thing about either the hoffman or those uh, screws is that once you drive the screw or drive in this hoffman key you're done. You could also put, you know, put a, a biscuit in there or a domino. Those would also be two great ways to reinforce that joint. The challenge to that is that as you put it together, you have to leave it clamped until the glue dries. And I do put a little bit of glue in there. But basically, this is just like putting together a picture frame. But what about a smaller drawer like these right here? They're too small for me to make this kind of frame because there wouldn't be anything left in the middle at all. So what I did is I just took some of the material where I'd had this bead made and I ripped it right there to get a little piece like so. It's basically just the bead and then I mitered it around. I used a piece of plywood, but you wouldn't have to use plywood. You could use solid lumber too. The nice thing about plywood is it's really good and stable. And that's how I made the smaller drawer fronts. Now, the ability to make a really nice looking door or drawer with tools you already own is something that kind of excites me. There's several other different types of doors or drawers fronts that I make using just miter saws, router bits, and a headless pinner. And so I'm going to be sharing those in some other videos that I make. But I really think this is a great looking option. By the way, one of the nice things about a mitered corner uh, door like this is there's no end grain showing. The reason that the mitered part is important is because it allows you to put together something with a frame without having to have a coping stick cut, which takes a lot of setup, takes more machinery, more uh, tooling also. So it's a great way to make a nice looking door or drawer front with tools you just already own. And I'm going to be sharing some more videos about other options pretty soon.